Hi, um, I'm going to try and do a couple tutorials for you on how to use your Cricut. Um, I know um, your dad said you were having um, some issues with the vinyl or trying to figure the vinyl out, how to move it. Um, so right now what I'm working on is a shirt that I'm making for Bo um, for school, for his 100th day of school. Um, so here in a second, I will move the camera or I'll move my computer um, to show you what I've done and then um, go through the process of cutting it out, like the things that you need to hit to cut it out um, and all of that. Um, so this is going to be iron on the iron on vinyl since it's going on a shirt. Um, and I'll show you the vinyl for that and what to do. So I'm going to move my computer a little bit and I'm going to move this. You'll probably see my computer more than me. Um, I'm wondering if I need to. Okay. Let's see if you can see that good enough. I might have to move it. So this is um, our design. And then you're going to hit the make it, which is right up here. And when it's, you know what, I'm going to move it. Give me a second to take it out of the stand. Okay. So you're going to pick the, for any material map. And then you'll hit confirm. Um, so one thing I'm going to do, because I didn't, I didn't attach everything where it was supposed to go. Um, I just left it as is just because of um, sight for size reasons. Normally, um, I would attach everything and make sure it stayed together. But for this, I'm doing it my own way. Um, but and it's also because um, I've been doing it for a while. So I am moving. I will show you. So what I'm doing is I'm moving my stuff around for where I want it. Um, for what I want together. So these, it doesn't really matter because they're going in their own spot. And so then you can see it actually reads, I captured days of school. Okay. Um, so one thing I did this yesterday and I forgot. So even after all this time, I'm still learning and forgetting things. Um, I forgot to mirror my images. When you do iron on, when you're putting something on a shirt, um, you can even do iron on, on like a canvas print, even on wood, you have to remember to mirror the image. So, um, I'll show you, I'm going to hit, there's this right here where it says mirror, make sure you click that and then it makes everything backwards. Okay. So we're doing some black mirror. And it makes it backwards and then the red mirror and it makes everything backwards so like I said yesterday I forgot to do that and basically wasted some vinyl which it happens so then you're gonna hit continue and it's gonna make sure it can read my maker um, and then I'm going to set you down real quick right there. Um, since I'm using vinyl, I'm going to use my green mat, which is the standard grip. So even, um, if you don't have like the Cricut brand mat, you, for vinyl, iron on or regular, you want your standard grip mat. So... Take your thing off, and the first 
part I'm doing is with white vinyl. So I need to, this is the piece I used yesterday, um, which unfortunately I don't think is going to be, let me see, it might actually work. No, it's not going to be big enough. Um, so, I'm going to get my vinyl out. So, you can see that this side is shiny and this side is not as shiny. Like, it's kind of a matte finish. You're going to put the shiny side onto your cutting mat. This is for iron-on only. Iron-on is the only one that you're gonna put shiny side down. Um, so, put that on there. Make sure you get it on there really good. Okay. And then, you know this part where you just load it into your machine. Um, and then hit the go button and then that's gonna cut it. So I'm going to cut all my pieces and then I will come back on um, or I'll start another video um, when it's all done cutting and show you what to do from there. I know that you have or your parents have an iron, which you can use an iron for that and I'll go into that a little bit more. Um, once I get all this cut out and I'm ready to do the next step of it.